Hey loves, today I want to talk about perm box girls. So you're probably wondering, perm box girls, what are you talking about? Well, um, let me just give you a little backstory while well, I'll be getting into things. So, you know, perm boxes are what we would call perm meaning cream hair in Jamaican terms. So those girls that normally appear on the hair creams that we use to process our hair, those girls, they are the focus of today's video. Somebody made a post on social media highlighting, you know, that they would like to know where these girls at, these girls that normally appear on the perm boxes where they've been. And surprisingly, they responded to the post and that post went viral. So these girls, some of them are saying that, hey, really and truly their hairs weren't processed what say what their hairs weren't processed guys so makes you wonder hmm, were we deceived are we still being deceived all right so we you know growing up a lot of girls wanted to have that type of hair they wanted thick hair because those girls on the perm boxes they were painted as you know having the ideal hair type and persons i think it damaged many of us as little girls or self-esteem and stuff because we were comparing our hair to theirs and saying that oh we still process our hair but it still does not look the way we want it to it still does not look like these sperm girls here but apparently these sperm girls these these girls not perm girls <laughs> so these girls are actually saying that they did not process their hair whether it is that they use a hot comb or you know a, a curling iron or whatever it is to get their hair straight and voluminous right so they those are the methods i presume they used instead of using these creams these girls when they were at a younger age they, their pictures were taken and they pose on these boxes to say that, you know, this is what this cream did for my hair when in fact that was not the case. So it makes you wonder how many of these companies are doing this very same thing? Are we being deceived on a daily basis by some of these manufacturers? It makes you wonder, you know, who can we trust? which brands can we trust right because we are having the faith and the confidence in these products believing that hey this is this is something that you know will help me and it did this for these girls so more than likely i have similar hair types so i should have the same result when that's not the case right so this brought me to the story of the johnson's and johnson's baby powder saga um, dated as far as I think 2008, I was reading this article. He had highlighted that they have discovered asbestos in the baby powder. For those of you who are wondering what is asbestos, asbestos is a natural occurring substance. Um, it's a fibrous mineral that is mainly used in the construction industry, transportation industry. And if inhaled, it can cause mesothelioma and lung cancers, other lung cancers, as well as other cancers. When the news came out, the company Johnson & Johnson's were basically dismissing it. So they were saying no, they were denying these claims. Fast forward to 2022, right? So a few days ago, I read an article that highlighted that Johnson's & Johnson's have, are being sued they have so many lawsuits, thousands of lawsuits against them. And they have now decided to retract the, their baby powder that they had been using for years. And they are now using cornstarch. So they claimed that there were no asbestos in their products. Right? And... It was found in it. Research have been done. Scientists, people do the testings and they found asbestos in those products and they're still denying it. Can you imagine how many babies have been exposed to asbestos? How many mothers have been exposed to asbestos? Especially because it's in a 
powdery form it is easily inhaled in the lung and can cause a lot of other problems right can you imagine how many persons are at risk of uh, developing cancers and all of that but yet still these manufacturers fail to highlight the actual problem and say retract it do you understand i know yes it will mean you lose a lot but still the health of your customers is what matters because if we don't purchase their products they will not have any money if we don't promote their products if we don't highlight it they won't make any money so they all depend on us as the consumers so why not protect us why lie to us anyway we're still talking about perm box girls here but i'm just saying this to just to, to highlight a point and so it makes you wonder altogether or can we trust these brands so let's look at some of the effects that these companies have on girls in our society because as i said earlier growing up we all thought hey this is the ideal look a lot of girls don't embrace their nappy hair they don't accept their curls they don't accept their 4c hair they don't accept the coarse hair they feel as if it's ugly they, this type of deception cause many girls to think along that line did these deceptions cause women to not appreciate their their hair and let them believe that hey this is this is the definition of beauty i am really saddened by it but i am also appreciative that the truth came out as well because many women can know or even girls can know understand that hey you know this is not really the real truth so why not embrace my natural hair why not you know it's beautiful no matter how it looks no matter if it's straight it's whatever it is whatever it looks like my hair is beautiful and i think we have to create this culture now to foster appreciation for natural hair because many naturals you see out there i know persons growing up when i started my um natural hair journey and started recording it there were persons i used to follow on youtube and they have changed so much you hardly see them them wearing their natural hair it's like you have to wonder is this a wig channel not saying that nothing is wrong with wigs but the way they started with their content around natural hair and you know natural hair branding and then you go on the channel and you barely see anything about yet yeah, about their natural hair or you barely see them wearing their natural hair and it makes you wonder if we are for the community if we're about inspiring and empowering others to love and be love their natural hair and be confident with their natural hair how is it that we are portraying the image that you know we have to wear different hair types and extensions and it's the way to go i'm not saying anything is wrong with it guys it's up to you if you want to wear it but i'm saying if you are promoting natural hair why not highlight your natural hair let people see that hey i have challenges with my 4c hair i have challenge with this type of hair but hey i'm going to embrace it i'm going to help myself and in helping myself i'm helping you as well to find a way to take good care of your natural hair all right so guys i want to know what you guys think about all these stories and these girls coming out do you think what do you think are you still trusting hair brands <laughs> not saying that you should you know i'm not saying that you should stay away from certain brands and all of that but i mean has your faith been shaken do you feel as confident in these brands as before do you think that these girls being posing on these perm boxes um do you think that it caused damage in the natural hair community and how so all right guys thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning in remember to check out my other videos check out my hair care routine and you see my hair oh girl
Look at look at my hair. My hair is thriving. Thriving so well. And hey, I don't need no perm. It's all natural, 100% natural. And if you want to start your hair care journey, feel free to reach out to me at Nikki Natural on Instagram. I can give you a few tips and you can also check out my YouTube channel where I have loads of content about achieving sweet, short, spicy hairstyles. Like this one, it was so easy to create. All right, so thanks again, guys. Take care. Bye.